the hospital structure and services now let us begin the tour of the hospital reception desk the reception desk is the first point you encounter when you enter a hospital it provides information about services in the hospital the functions of the reception desk include establishing a positive initial relationship with patient and their attendants providing information on appointments with doctors and help in the process of consultation collaborating with the patient in the admission process and finally admitting and maintaining the records of the patients during their stay in the hospital outpatient department in a non emergency condition the patient meets the doctor in the outpatient department or in the opd an opd consists of a patient waiting area with a consultation room where the doctor examines the patient the consultation room comprises of an examination stool where the patient sits doctor stable for the doctor to note his observation and write instructions and prescriptions attendee's chair for attendance of the patient instruments like stethoscope and other equipment like radiograph viewer to view the x-rays of the patient the opd consultation room also consists of an observation bed for examination by the doctor once the doctor examines the patient in the consulting room the doctor advises the patient in getting admitted into the hospital or prescribes medication that can be taken at home if the patient is advised to be admitted in the hospital the reception desk helps the patient in the admission process casualty ward a patient who needs immediate medical care is attended to in the casualty ward the casualty ward comprises of numerous observation beds that are equipped with the necessary emergency equipment based on the condition of the patient the patient is transferred to the inpatient ward for medical care or the pre operative ward of the operation theater for surgical care inpatient ward inpatient care refers to medical treatment that is provided in a hospital or other facility and requires at least one overnight stay the inpatient wards are equipped with facilities that provide for the treatment safety and comfort of the patient there are also nurses and doctors on call who monitor the patients closely an inpatient ward may have more than 2 beds with a common bathroom facility or an exclusive room with facilities for each individual a typical inpatient ward would comprise of the hospital bed which is made according to the condition of the patient a storage compartment or a closet for the storage of the patient's medications and belongings an attendee bed for the attendant accompanying the patient a bathroom with toilet facilities and equipment that is needed as per the treatment being delivered to the patient laboratory and diagnostic facilities when a doctor identifies a medical condition in a patient it is termed as diagnosis the diagnosis of the doctor is confirmed in the laboratory and using the diagnostic facilities the specimens collected from patients are tested in the laboratory or the lab as it is called the diagnostic services include diagnostic equipment such as x-ray ultrasound ecg 
and sometimes specialized equipments such as CTC scan and MRI. A nurse station. A nurse station is an area in the hospital where the nurses are seated while not attending the patient. The nurse station has a counter. Patient records are kept at this counter. These records are then displayed when the doctor is on examination rounds. The nurse station has space for storing medical equipment. It also has a telephone and an intercom to attend to patient calls. Operation Theatre The Operation Theatre or the OT is a sterile area of the hospital where surgical procedures are carried out. Entry into the Operation Theatre is restricted as the area has to be free of germs that can affect the patient being operated. The operation theatre comprises of an operating table on which the surgical procedure is carried out. The operating table is illuminated by high powered operating lights that provide focused light for the surgeon. The OT is equipped with the required surgical instruments that are needed during the procedures. These instruments are made germ-free by a process known as sterilization. The OT is also equipped with the anesthesia unit and monitors that display the condition of the patient while the procedure is being carried out. The intensive care unit The intensive care unit or ICU caters to those patients who are in a critical condition and need consistent medical attention. The intensive care unit is equipped with monitoring devices such as the pulse oximeter that aids in monitoring the patient breathing rate. An ECG monitor that monitors the heart rate and indicates the functioning of the heart. Equipment to measure blood pressure, body temperature, urine output, etc. to monitor the vital signs and functions of the body. Support equipment like the ventilator if the patient is unable to breathe. Hospital Pharmacy The hospital pharmacy is the area of the hospital that stocks medicines for the treatment of patients within the hospital. The pharmacy has a medicine counter where the pharmacist serves the patient. The medicines are arranged systematically in shelves for easy identification. Cafeteria The nutritional needs of the patient vary according to the patient's condition. They are noted and a diet plan is prepared in consultation with the specialist doctor. The hospital cafeteria then supplies food to the patients as per the diet planned. The hospital cafeteria comprises of a kitchen. The cafeteria also has dining facilities for all the people working in the hospital system as well as for visitors. The cafeteria manages a food distribution system. Through this system, food is delivered to the patients at their bed in the ward.